What up? It's DJ Organic. It's me, Devin. Live in the video art studio. I got inspired a little earlier while I was sitting in the garden about doing some AI art prompts about computer technology, electronics that were made from living materials or other materials than plastic like fungus and crystals and clay and wood and so I decided I will prompt it live and see what me and the art bot and these plastic computer electronic components can create what pixels what pixel prompts what pixel programming can we create together I'd like to thank Wombo Wombo Dream by Wombo Dream Diffusion this is the only AI art app I've been trying so far I know there are many more now and um, it's like uh, I still use Adobe Premiere although I'm not I would like to try something else perhaps uh, with all the social media platforms that I've used in video art and pixel makers uh, I tend to s stay with to learn one and stay with it for a while until I'm ready to learn another one so I'm still using wo Wombo Wombo I don't know how the comparative value to other AI art generators so the topic the the name of the series mostly on a whim and after looking at uh, one in the gallery created one in the gallery this one and decided to call it living computer peripherals and this was the the first one that gave me an I gave an idea about uh, computer component that was more to put in simple terms more natural although plastic is from naphtha and other sources from crude oil which is buried in the earth but uh, in my opinion and I think in many other people's opinions or agree as well that we have too much plastic already in our habitat and it's not healthy for our bodies to be touching all the time and we're very much um, using computers and looking at screens often handheld and desktop and laptops and projectors we love the art, the flashing lights, uh, the depictions of other people on the planet to learn about and learn from, communicate with. So uh, I, I believe we need new materials, different materials to create these, what we call technology, electronics, computers, things that decompose actually and that's not a not a problem that we can throw uh, under a tree like most things 
on planet Earth and will become the soil, feed the microbes and the wildlife, and uh, chuck it in the compost with the food scraps, perhaps. Maybe it needs water or sunlight. But that's the idea. Okay, let's create. We have the chat. I'll check in on the chat if anyone's listening in. Let me check in on the stream. It's working. It seems to be working. Anyone... No one in the chat seems like at the moment. All right, cool. Good to go. Okay. My first prompt was something like a computer screen mouse keyboard made I said of oh, let me try from made from fungus crystal crystals wood clay yeah what else um, plants Roots, soil, earth, maybe another, another word for computer, computer, tech, technology, tech, oops, ran out of characters, the constraints, I have a constraint of using 100 characters for the prompt. Computer tech. No, that might be a person. A computer. Electronic. Computer, screen, mouse, keyboard. How about wires? Wires. Good. A computer screen, mouse, keyboard, wires made from fungus, crystals, wood, clay, plants, roots, soil, earth. Alright, Wombo created some new art style since last time I was prompting. Let's try it. Gouch. Gouch? Is that what it's called? Gouch. I don't know how to pronounce that. Take a look real quick. Definition. Gouache. Gouache. A method of painting with opaque watercolors mixed with a preparation of gum. Gouache. An opaque pigment used when painting in this way. Painting executed in this manner of gouache. Natural pigment, water, a binding agent, usually gum arabic or dextrin. Interesting. Gouache. Okay, let's... Let me push the buttons. And see the pixels flashing, telling me creating. Sometimes I say drawing. Obviously it's not drawing it's creating numbers 
I suppose. Well, that's something beautiful. Uh, display. An image. That looks like an image in a handheld device. Not exactly. I better save. I'm gonna save this prompt in case. In case the art bot in the website decide to lag out. I'll try another gouache of that. Is this working? Great. Chat up. this an image inside of an image some tree roots let me try a different style realistic Like wires, nothing too interesting. Wow, oh, it looks like some font appeared and some wires here. Hmm, kind of looks like a snake skin for the wire coating. Is that inspiring? Not really. I'm trying to inspire technicians, fabricators, engineers, scientists, everything you all and I am doing is using naphtha, is using crude oil. It's a real conundrum. I can, I assume that for scientists, it's a major dilemma. Scientists researching climate change, researching the climate and the earth, and uh, relying, dependent on synthetics and factory manufacturing and crude oil and gas and cars and trucks uh, that's a conflict of interest isn't it what do I see here looks like some food not too uh, computer electronic back to creation Try another realistic. For me, it's a dilemma with video art and digital art and cameras and lights and projectors and monitors and computers. Looks like some more food. It's a beautiful, uh, Images are created on these screens of pixels with the lights, but uh, the detriment and cost to the habitat and the environment and to myself, touching them, being exposed to their radiation, uh, looking at a flat flat surface for hours and hours when I have two eyes and we're made for uh, observing depth and motion and movement through time space these, 
these black, flat, rectangle objects. Very odd, peculiar instruments. Okay, note to AI artists. Copy and paste the, the prompts. Because art bots lag out. Maybe it's more creative to write a new font. I, I like to try the font many times. I mean, uh, write a new prompt. I like to try the prompt multiple times. Okay, there's a new... There's this new art style comic. On Wombo. Nice tree fungus. Looks like a uh, illustration. Nothing electronic or computer though, that's interesting. Maybe I need to be more specific. Try a keyboard, try a screen, try a mouse. I'll give the machine some more chances at creating something inspiring with a, a mashup of prompts. Hmm. Almost looks like a person that's becoming the root system. Part root system, part human person. Beautiful. It's the comic art style. And uh, what's it that's called? Michael Rise? I don't know all the, I don't remember all the words for the fungal parts at the moment. Beautiful. Try a different style. Uh, this new one, line art. It's all black and white. The meme was making some realistic looking depictions. It's my intention to make the machine mash up all those ideas into uh, what appears to be a computer of some sort. There we go, it has some components in it. Looking like soil, but very plastic components. Almost. That was mean. It's in some mushrooms, fungal network, yeah. mycorrhiza involved, still plastic looking mouse, or maybe for the wires, the 
that connection. I'll publish one of those because it's interesting. It has that illusion of soil, fungus, roots, and computer components. Living computer. Try to reprompt that, maybe take out uh, some of these components. Just getting mouse. Let's try screen. Computer screen made from fungus, crystals, wood, clay, plants, roots, soil, earth. Transparent. Another component would be glass, but I understand that glass is resource expensive and I don't know about the pollution involved with making glass. So I was thinking about crystals that already exist. Or maybe there's a way to grow crystals and um somehow it's transparent clear what else uh screen here curve or almost transparent curve Curvy? Is that a word? Is that how it's spelled? Curvy. Having curves. Curvaceous. 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 Interesting results. What's up, chat? What's up, artists? What's up, machine learners, devs, engineers? Developers. Designers. Looks like a computer with a picture of fungus on it. Almost. Curvaceous display in the upper right uh, upper right square the corner square. What's this? Hmm. Oh, that's something. I'll publish that.
in the prompts. Yes. Hey, show your prompts. some curvy displays there just uh did some cropping yeah it kind of showed up i'm looking at obs so i did some cropping on the card part of the image i can fix that i want to show the i want the audience to be able to see the whole image just has some borders on the other parts that I didn't like oh, when it's a smaller image um, let me fix the crop Since I'm here, we can talk about the what I've done in OBS. I am using so I have a camera live USB camera live and it has a alpha mask on it, an image mask. To give it the oval shape using an image I found on in a web search internet search and it has a little bit of a uh, I use an image in the background right so it's very confusing video art and digital art because we designed to think of it in layers so the very bottom layer 
of this video is a video of that I created right now it's a tide pool and I use mirror effects in Adobe Premiere to make a kaleidoscoping image so the kaleidoscope image of water is the bottom layer and then there is a display capture layer which is this oval here and he used a, an image mask on that as well to create the oval of the display capture and then I used a color key two different color keys on gray areas in the display capture to make them seemingly transparent that's another trick of video art and digital art where it's designed to think of it as layers and designed to think of uh, transparency and opacity so I assigned two different gray colors to be transparent but what is it really it's uh, a machine Signing numbers, making numbers. <laughs> it's a translation of many different, many different steps. Translation of flashing pixels, colors. All the, all that's actually occurring is colors changing, pixel colors changing. But to, to design it, we're taught to think of it as layers and transparency. And then, then there's a layer of my camera image that is partly transparent, not from color key, but from an opacity slider. So display capture filters. Oh, that actually it's partly transparent from the image mask. And all these virtual buttons, they're not actually buttons and sliders, they're pixels. And when I push on the mouse, it appears that I can grab things with the cursor and move them. But actually I'm pushing a some plastic and some pixels are changing color with much uh, machine language in between of numbers changing which gives me the realistic experience of pushing buttons and holding down on knobs and sliders and moving them. Um, then I have another layer of the behind the card is a oval frame. It might be a picture of an oval frame uh, with uh, transparency in the middle. I'm trying to avoid oops. I'm trying to avoid gray rectangles and rectangles in general there made some more disappear excellent okay that's very uh saturated now green and pink and purple not very uh beautiful <laughs> color palette at the moment it's a bit random 
with the video art on the bottom layer I changed the opacity I mean the the hue I did a hue shift in OBS and so all the videos are slightly different color than how I recorded them or created them in video editing so it's a bit of a it's uh how the all the colors will work together changes and it doesn't always look pretty to me a green and a pink and purple is ugly is kind of nauseating but it definitely is not gray rectangles there's appears to be motion and today I wanted a little more green image so I made this oval frame this ornate oval frame I changed the color to green but I'm actually using it to what looks like hold the the card So it looks like the video card is resting on top of something to give it more perceived depth, even though it's very flat. There is no depth, it's all deception. In the, in the, dis, uh, I made two copies of the display capture actually one display capture and then the card on the right side is a window capture that has been cropped so that's the breakdown of, of uh, what I created for this video art show today okay enough of that boringness of me talking I want to see some more images appear. I didn't save this one. I like how there's some um, different ideas for displays here. Living computer components. Peripherals. See what else meme has with that prompt. This is my process so far. I like to do many many creations of the same prompt, even with the same style until something something pops out, something magical, something inspiring, something brilliant. Kind of like a fungus display. It looks more, a little bit like an, a uh, picture of a fungus on a computer screen. And the other one just looked like beautiful coral or something. Okay, not quite. Try another style. Dolly. Salvador Dolly the style of Hmm. 
kind of interesting. I don't know if that's inspiring or not. Creating similar images to those last two. Perhaps any of these would are inspiring to a uh, designer. Not really standing out to me. Well, that's kind of a nice like transition. They kind of show the transition of I of thinking from rectangles to more uh, rhizome, rhizome-like, rhizomial. <laughs> that one Okay, try uh, for the sake of the show, no I don't need to hurry up, no one's tuning in live anyway, that's okay. Mm, well it's something, steampunk perhaps. Synth wave. Synth wave has been one. Makes it interesting. Try that. I'm looking for a bit of realism in these. Not completely ad abstract conceptual. Maybe I'll go back to the realistic font. That's nice. That's nice uh, lines and lights and colors. Getting similar results on those between the st styles. Oh, psychic, of course. Tap the psychic. Tap the psychic button. Gener generate a pixel program to inspire designers. Looks like a beautiful place in the forest. Yeah, more forest scenes, so roots. Oh, uh, saying that r reminds me of uh, Root Bridge.
you have these these root these bridges made of roots how beautiful how ingenious brilliant symbiotic yes from what I learn to understand they they uh, grow them over many years obviously but uh yeah there's different heights for the the levels of the river it's gorgeous how that cement get in there though that's weird how's it look over here oh pretty cool Let's zoom it out zoom out again the kind of idea for it. Is this all the same bridge? No, some are different. This one has a scale of some people on it. Wow, even rocks and leaf and soil, building soil on it. Maybe we can grow computers like we these brilliant people grew tree roots into bridges. Bridges. screen computer keyboard oh not quite well can take out curvaceous and transparent made of made of made from made of Is the Nexus Alice Alicidra Alice Alice <laughs> Alicidra Alien Conglomeration Lurks Shaipa If any of you or someone else um, is making some prompts yourself or as some AI art you want to share you can get me a link I can put it on the show what happened the freeze oh here we go here we go so everything good everything's good Well, it looks like a computer keyboard out laying out in the ground on the soil. Nothing inspirational there. Oh, I don't know if these prompts have like using quotation marks or something or how those word searches work 
Hey, there's something. Oh wow. Art bot generated the uh, language of buttons on the keyboard. I like that. And the number five. <laughs> Circle. They all have the same, all the same kind of black ink, almost hand drawn style or stamped. That's cool. Almost that one. Very nice. Good clay in there, right? Yeah. It was. to a texture or material besides the plastic or normal keyboard. Nice colors. I thought it might be some kind of crystal like structure but a really neat uh, language. That's cool. Interesting results. How fun. How fun. Fun. And the fun value scale. Fun results. That's not, that's very abnormal. Very normal. But I did think of like shell or bone. Keyboard made of fungus, bone, crystals, wood, clay, plants, roots, soil, earth. Leaves? Leaves. all together you get black plastic crude oil or something a million years later isn't that ironic
Ready. this almost something interesting almost looks like buttons that are maybe grown but it's not giving me the illusion of a computer keyboard with a leaf on it. Conceptual. Let me try to be more even be more specific. Fungus, bone, wood, clay. Try multiple components again. Computer, mouse, keyboard, screen, made of fungus, bone, wood, crystals.
There's something. What does it mean? It's a little conceptual and a bit realistic as well. Great, what's this? An agate mouse? Agate mouse, nice. Yeah, let me let that inspire me for another pump. This is a good pump though. Nice one. I'm not even prompting a handheld device. This one in the, the lower third maybe looks like a handheld or a display. Descriptor. Call them a device or something. I'm adding smartphone in there. Computer. A computer, mouse, keyboard, screen, smartphone made of fungus, bone, wood, crystals, plants, clay, soil, earth. Oh yeah, agate. Pants. Let me put uh, agate. starting to want to try other AI art applications. This one is free and I use uh, script blockers and ad blockers in Firefox and this one only required one script to function. What did the art bot draw? What is this, a components card? Materials list? It's a materials list. For living computer peripherals. 
Wow, that beautiful language. It looks kind of similar to the, some of the other fancy fonts this uh, app has created on other uh, prompts. That's neat. Um, I'd like to publish that the output materials list. Materials list for organic computers. exist. Oh no. That's new. Refresh. It exists. Thank goodness. It's gorgeous. See like an agate or a wood mouse here. This might be a wooden and agate crystal smartphone. What is this neat looking device here with uh, some stone components? Great. Are these buttons? Is this like a trackpad that's made out of uh, agates and crystal? Still very rectilinear, but yeah, these I'm thinking of materials, not so much the style. I think the screen especially needs to be more curvaceous and not a rectangle. Let me do another one. Oh, 
how it made uh, what looks like four different depictions in the one one card. Those bottom two, to me, reads as uh, present and future. Publish that. Living computer for Got a good thread going here with this prompt. Let me try a no style. That was one of the original art styles when I first used Wombo last year. Wombo. Is that a wooden a wooden computing device? up in the chat anything nothing catch a replay hey if you're watching the recording watching on my youtube channel watching the twitch video on demand hello <laughs> it's me from the past it's me Devin DJ organic from the past saying hi I hope the, this video is inspiring for your creativity. Creativity and future designs and future lifestyles that are less toxic, less pollutive than this crude oil dependency we're all seemingly all can't hardly imagine people who aren't dependent on this crude oil society but I can't imagine that there are some out there on this giant earth that's tiny <laughs> seems tiny now but it's actually gigantic relative size to a uh, person to an animal body isn't living and maybe some people can argue with that I don't
I wonder if there are any agate mouse. Uh, computer mouse. Need. A nice wooden one. Sparkly plastic. No immediate results for that. Some mouse pads with printed images that look like agates and stones. button pushers how did people become button pushers what is the story of people and pushing buttons do we love it do we hate it are we tricked are we de deceived by buttons now we tap on plastic computer screens and we are having the delusion of pushing a button when it's actually pixels flashing and changing colors. I guess there is some kind of sensory input perhaps or electric input stimulus so we are pushing on something. Well there are drawings these almost look like m m mice, computer mices. <laughs> I think they're just jewelry, uh, agates, polished stone, similar looking appearance, it might even be plastic. Some, what looks like wooden mouse. Beautiful. Or I'd like one of those in the future. That's what's available. tired of touching plastic all the time. I don't really know what else to do at the moment. Everything, uh, when I think of things like that, it always involves shopping. Um, there is a chance that I could be somebody who learns how to, uh, find some wood out here. Uh, Find some wood nearby and craft it into a, a mouse. I'd still have to use components. Maybe overlay wood on top of this existing mouse. This, uh, this freestyling ideas of what I could do besides shopping. Could uh, make some twine out of some plant material and put uh, take some sticks and put it on top of a mouse parts and on uh, all the keys I don't know how I attach the wood to these keys without adhesive maybe make caps somehow can I sew them on punch hole through them and so on some wooden uh, wooden touch pads <laughs> yes there there are opportunities I'm not that advanced of a craftsman craftsperson with uh, woodworking tools I did I, uh, tending I like to be uh, rustic and primitive in the garden, use sticks for trellises, things like that. 
They use hand tools. Of course, they have some metal, fabricated metal parts on them. Definitely trying to uh, have an idea like, I want a wooden mouse and, and buy one. And then what do I do with this one? Give it away, throw it away, send it away, have things sent to me. Alright, that's a little conceptual there. Looks kind of like an image inside of a smartphone display. ideas oh I could cover the mouse with maybe some fabric I already have uh, to not be touching the plastic Mouse covers. Oh, what's that? That's neat. Conceptual design of possible materials. some more screens, curvy screens. Computer screen, monitor, display. screen monitor display made of fungus, bone, wood, crystals, made of all the move crystals closer to the front. I don't know if where the words are um, in the line of prompt determines how the art is created or not. I assume that the, the first, yeah, the closer to the beginning of the line is more, more important for determining the generated image. <laughs> flat? Is it going to be spherical? Let's try something in the future. Sphere, oval. Put them both in.
beautiful spherical. Oh wow, yeah. Putting the stand on the bottom though. Putting the shape. How is it? space through communication where else who else what else something similar being created Displays made from an agate, polished stone, polished crystal, they're spherical, they're oval, they're egg shaped, the beautiful shapes of uh, the earth, They're probably beyond earth. Crystals growing inside of some agate might be very conceptual ideas of how what to use in shapes materials. I like it. Thank you, Wombo. Thank you, Artbot. Last time I did an AI art show, it was about bias in the generated image. It's so, and racism, and uh, brutal human code. That's nice to be prompting objects that we use, objects that we love, objects that are beautiful, that don't have, aren't, uh, specific to a certain type of type of person or how we're uh, segregated coded you know what I mean it's nice to prompt, prompt some images that don't don't relate to that that's gorgeous look yeah that I mean that could be our computer screen that could be what's in the quarter corner of every of every pale wall room. Beautiful. talking about AI, bias in AI art, noticing uh, the, the people, the pic, depictions of people being biased in certain ways, and how that relates to our individual and our collective subconscious uh, programming, indoctrination, education, society, culture in our collective conscious uh, seeing images uh, in media and all kinds of media and art and here with this series creating new objects for the subconscious and collective conscious sharing ideas of objects 
for the collective conscience. Conscience. start talking and making art about these kind of things we, we see we realize we hear we experience we're not the only ones with similar ideas similar depictions and we can help each other um, share them become more elaborate about them when we create art I want to see now if I can add projector into this because I I also think that maybe this device that spherical egg shape crystal glass or something uh, can maybe also project onto a surface perhaps um, into the space I don't know about that technology if it's people have been creating that yet or not computer screen computer screen display projector mm. yeah like in uh, Star Wars of course that's my childhood era of subconscious programming. So the holograms in Star Wars. I always thought with those, like, maybe if there was smoke or particulate in the air, then lasers. Future man. Purple hearts for everybody. Extra life. One up, one up, one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a cat's. Cat's amount of one ups for all of you viewers. Here you go. And my 
Twitch emote tag. Music. Love music. The earth surrounded by love. Vibrating music. Music surrounding the earth in love. Allah. Gorgeous. What are those fungus and crystals growing? Nice. Yep, you guessed it. Crystal ball. Looking into our crystal ball at last. Is that something from uh, another planet? Some kind of story, some kind of program, code, language. We received something people were doing already a long time ago on this planet. A crystal ball, what is it? Do we want them? Yeah, we want them. Do we want flat screen rectangles for the future? I don't think so. That's my opinion. seeing any kind of what looks like our normal computer uh, graphic user interfaces in these displays though. You look at all the gray rectangles. Oh, go away. Maybe instead of the mesh, the grid mesh, Thick metals. 
make a computer screen is strange. Foils. Plastics. Yes. Oil slick. Pool of crude oil. Maybe instead of those parts. Square pixels, we will have fungus, coral, roots, growing to make the matrix for our displays inside of, in crystal balls, <laughs> nice one. Okay, um, that's a good prompt. Scene keyboards, mouse, displays. That's the usual. For my own, all right. For for fun, for myself, I'd like to see a camera. Almost. The camera on top of what looks like roots. Oh, there's our subconscious program of what a camera looks like. Yep, I'm looking at one that looks very similar to that. <laughs> Got art bot. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. Decent, decent. Yeah, this is great. It looks like an advertisement for a camera that was grown from roots and crystals. One 
that's made from wood. Great, great, excellent. This one is like, we have a camera. in the lectures in my life at the schools. So uh, it's the style that I know and I like to think that I'm doing a bit of art school, doing some art teaching with these shows and these performances. So definitely in school-like setting, in a class setting, students, participants, teachers, share they're doing it's an art class so share their art and their images what do we have here a wooden camera body or a root camera body decent keep it the art bot wants to draw no style To a tree, someone planted their old camera and it grew into a tree. <laughs> Love it. to follow along 
with the publishing. I have it listed here on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is the, the jump off point, the starting point, the home, my web page, my website. To my other creations. How's it looking? Beautiful. Beautiful. Cameras, displays, mice, keyboards. Excellent. Oh, I had an idea to see some oval smartphones. Great, great, great. Very nice. This original original one is unique. This was the first one that work was working for me. Unique to all the rest. That, to me, it uh, looks like a mouse that's touching these uh, soil. I mean, clay balls, perhaps. And uh, maybe these plants and the rock are also peripherals, or also buttons, or uh, joysticks that connect to the computer. What I saw, what I thought of. Class is coming to an end. I want to drop that in the chat for easy access for the viewers and do one or two more prompts. Saw a camera. I'd like to see it. Real fungus looking camera. Mushroom roots, crystals, agate. scale reference of a finger tip. It's a tiny micro camera.
see what it was. All those fungus crystals and a few cameras in there. Possibly inspiring. I'm seeing some plastic camera here, but maybe that's bone. I think this is part of the show where the chat is uh, redeeming the hydrate uh, redemption to remind the host to drink water. Well, that's a nice uh, looking stone there. But that is a plastic camera. another try Oh, 
out and I growing lenses is a good idea. I have crystals and see some oval handheld devices. Not quite. This is, looks like uh, some stones surrounding the camera. It's going to open. Looks like some beautiful uh, crystal funguses. Structures up here. What is that? That's a camera lens? I don't think so. Up here, what's that? Interesting. Art bot's getting tired or something? There, there's the lens with the coral uh, matrix. got mold growing in it. Usually try to avoid that with camera lenses. Those could be somehow crystals growing out of matrix. Focus the light. Maybe there's a new way of capturing the light onto the sensor. That's the sensor. In the dark. 
dark in my video. lenses cracked or something not quite looking like I imagine looks like looking through a lens at something What you got our bot? Hmm. Conceptual, conceptual. Almost. We're having a hard time designing the new camera technology. Computer peripheral of living materials for a camera. Still very new to our subconscious and collective conscience. What's that? A sensor? Haven't even got to those components yet. Almost. I'll save it. Okay, one more prompt that I thought of for an oval smartphone. Oval.
Sometimes they do. Ooh la la, the results are in, they're gorgeous. Handing it, yeah. I was thinking if I typed handheld for the pump, the hands would appear. <laughs> Look at <laughs> fingers of the future. <laughs> wow, those are beautiful. Those are beautiful computer devices. Look at those. Amazing. Look at beautiful curves here. Wow, yeah. I like that. I wouldn't have no. No qualms with holding and touching this. If I knew what materials were. What's this little track track ball or something that's made from a bone or a crystal or an agate? Gorgeous. Bush. Let's have those. Let's have those instead. What we have now. That was a new. Let's see a realistic depiction. A pixel program for our subconscious. For the future, design, creativity, and computing technology. Yeah, put those things together, Artbot. Into one. One object. One computer. Almost. Still thinking in, in blocks, art bot thinking. Yeah, I guess they, they are doing some kind of thinking, aren't they? Machines. Thinking of things as separate. Put them all together in a mashup. A mashup of shapes and minds, colors. Flashing lights. Red, green, and blue. Of white light and no light. Yeah. Yeah.
gorgeous uh, maybe it's a coconut shell or wood or a fungus with uh, crystal display conceptual but I, I like it it tells a, um, tells the story of what uh, my intention the whole way I can feel this uh, coral structure on my hand uh, delusionally <laughs> this has a little bit of computer graphic user inter inter graf graphic user interface on it hasn't appeared much in these depictions so I'm gonna I want to save that to have that of that in the series Wow, what's that? Looks like a an agate on a rope, so it looks like jewelry, not like a computer. Which would be very tricky if it was a computer. Not that far. A little too far ahead, uh, Two images. It's like a spoon holding a polished agate. Is that what we? Is that what you think, Artbot? 
we did them like that, it would work. It was like a wooden spoon that was holding the computer monitor device and that was also the, the peripheral for a computer input. Nice. Interesting design. Try a meme. <laughs> a rectangle inside the the curvaceous, the curvilinear. This one has some GUI on it. Nice, some graphic user graphic user interface. Excellent, excellent. This one's looking a lot like electronics we have now. Oh, this meme art style is performing excellently. Living computer. Excellent. There's a bit of graphic user interface. This one is, is like um, pulling back some layers here. Yeah, I'm liking this art bot. Wombo machine learner. I'm liking this idea of this kind of nut shape for our hand to hold. Shape to fit in our hand. Look at this, it's beautiful. I'm not so keen on the uh, square screen inside of the <laughs> curvy, inside of the round stone. Another round of those. Something else I can add here. And oval sphere. Another shape. How about purely spherical? Not well, not like an egg. Meme for the win. 
meme art style is generating beautiful depictions of future computer technology. What is that in the middle? <laughs> I know. Take a smartphone and uh, glue a, a an agate on it. <laughs> Almost, almost. Maybe spherical. Be more grammatically, but that won't fit in the constraints of 100 characters. Oh, that looks like a mouse or something, a trackpad. Ooh, awesome. Joystick, what's that called? The joy ball? Joy, joy sphere? Even a bit of a keyboard over here it looks like it's made out of fungus leather or something. Beautiful with uh with stunning gray rectangle backdrop gray rectangles backdrop with a bit of texture nice touch hey there were those trackballs in uh, arcade games saw that last image I didn't think it necessarily was spinning but my hand moved uh, around it to manipulate the pixels in the computer code so it doesn't necessarily have to move my hand moves to get that delusion that I'm moving something on the display what's this not very inspiring Nice. They don't, don't they look a little bit like computer components. Maybe I can add the the GUI. Almost. 
turf. Mount device, edit new interface. A smartphone, a sphere smartphone with graphic user interface made of fungus, crystal bone, agate roots, wood, sun. Maybe I can take the sun out. Some rectangular smartphones are warped slightly. For materials, might show what different materials look like. It's not very, that's not uh, pushing the design, but a little bit. I'll publish it. Maybe I'm already programmed from the other uh, images. <laughs> Something looks gorgeous. Oh, looks like a beautiful stone.
close. Not quite. Beautiful depictions. A depiction that has a graphic user interface in it. To enhance the illusion of it, the object being a computer. of smartphones, how agate smashed the naphtha, how agate smashed naphtha. Destroyed the crude oil. Domination. Almost, almost. One of these will... One of these will be... When I am... Looking for and imagining, and I'll start stop uh, this show. Interesting. What's that machine? Is it alive? Ooh, maybe that was a projector. It was recorded. I didn't publish it, but it's recorded.
third depiction on the right, second row. Almost. Almost. design art bot or an object wood and stone hmm. projects a hologram maybe I need to push the psychic button Using psychic art style. Beautiful, beautiful. Does the machine even know what its graphic user interface is? Something it doesn't even have any care for because that's where ours biological machine But I'm looking for a depiction that has a graphic user, user interface like we see on most computers at the moment in the futuristic crystalline fungus components design. If I talk into the microphone of the computer, does that influence what it creates?
quite realistic. Wow, she's really going late into the pixel art madness. Going long. It's a long show. Wow, what's that machine? It's a cliffhanger. What is going to happen? There's a bit of gooey. Yuck. No style is showing the knows what graphic unit user interface is. Appears. Excellent at generating objects that appear to be agates, spherical, oval, fungus, and wood that are look to be a uh, computer on its somehow. But it's not showing any screen graphics. Oh no, maybe won't be successful in my goal. Clicking the mouse and typing on the keyboard to generate pixel programs. Those other, uh, these other brand logos are more beautiful. That's close. Windows are other objects in our reality. Nothing. And so is an Android.
No. No style. You have what I'm looking for. Clock is ticking. It's going down to the wire. It's a buzzer beater. Cliffhanger. It's been a barn burner. There's a bit of the gooey. What? What is it? No, that's not working. That is not functioning. Program my subconscious. And program my creative conscience. To envision a living computer peripheral. What is this? Artbot, what do you have? What have you created, Artbot? Wow, this is unique. Interesting. Publish that. Unexpected. Is that a computer? That's it, that's a living computer. Gorgeous, all round, spherical, looks like it's a uh, crystal or something, with buttons and on screen, there's a bit of a, a bit of a computer generated uh, text, excellent, published, and this faked, this faked sense, a uh, an illusion of placement on a surface in, in a foreground with a background um, rectilinear room. Nice round object in a rectilinear room. Only moments remaining. Up in the chat. Nada. Some gifts or uh, gifts, gifts, some music, gift drop. Oh, there's one. What is that, though? All this for a little tiny rectangle screen. Art bot. Almost. Another style, random style with the buzzer. Is this going to overtime? Random style, 
steampunk. Radioactive art style. Creating. Mm, nothing. Meme. Let's see the meme for the future. Good health. This is it. He's throwing up shots. <laughs> That's funny. Good one, Art Bot. Switch them around a little bit. Switch those objects around and mash them up a little more. two more chances depending how the ref calls it So close, look at that. Oh, almost. Oh, almost. Didn't quite get the gooey in the display. Is this the display? Shoot. So close. Last chance. chance hmm. what's the code word what's the word of 
looking for a noble sphere computer showing GUI Android interface. So showing GUI. Netscape. What? Netscape? Netscape? What? In a... In a realistic? Is this it? Time out. Coach has an idea. An oval sphere computer showing gooey Netscape interface made of fungus, crystal, bone, agate, roots, wood. Realistic or a meme? Realistic. Oh no, I didn't save it. Oh my gosh, this is down to the wire. This is the end of the game. What's gonna happen? It's an exciting conclusion. It's a cliffhanger. It's the climax. I went with Netscape. Artists. This artist chose Netscape. Nothing. No result. Meme it. <laughs> Meme it. Here it is. Show me the gooey. Web search. Internet search. Dang it. it. Has to be over now. There's no way. There's no way. It's gotta be over. Word Internet. Netscape creative throwback to an earlier time of computing. And it wasn't very long ago. Yields no results. still going the show is still on I thought it would be over long ago wow beautiful no result Well, there's the gooey. And there's the fungus. Too conceptual, art bot. Looking for a bit more realism. Alright, that does it. That's the end. Good show. Thank you. Salute. Peace.